What are you looking forward to? Um, I'm looking forward to this project. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Say hi, Charlie. <laughs> to our annual Garden Brunch. Thank you to all the journalists in the room. You being here reminds us that there's nothing as good as a free press in America. Americans are wonderful. They take themselves very seriously, and so they should, but they're also very, very good at making fun of themselves. I'm actually here as a guest of Fox News because of Independence Day resurgence, the movie which I'm in, playing the first female president of the United States, which was very exciting. I mean, for me as a media reporter, it's all my sources in the same room. So I love being able to, uh, to watch how they interact with each other and maybe get a couple questions in uh, for stories I'm working on. Oh, just seeing everybody together. I think it's great fun to see Republicans, Democrats, Hollywood, New York, Chicago. It's great. It's great. This year, our theme is starting up and starting out. And thanks to Microsoft, and the great magic wall, you wrote the best advice you ever got. We love giving back to the community. And every year there's just one for recipients, like this year, Faith in the Park and the Halcyon Incubator are two houses. We love speaking at the Halcyon Incubator and the uh, students and cohorts there. It's a fantastic organization. This city has a proud history of diverse creators, thinkers, and entrepreneurs coming together to tackle our most pressing social challenges. Through the Halcyon Incubator, Sachiko has given that legacy a modern upgrade. Please welcome my friend, Dr. Satyo Kuno. My name is Sachiko Kuno, and I'm very much honored to be here before you today, not just as a founder of the Halcyon Incubator, but as of two weeks ago, a proud citizen of the United States. <laughs> yeah, why did I come to this country? Why did I come to the Washington DC? That is to change the world. I want to congratulate all the young entrepreneurs here today. It is an incredible thing to have the courage to pursue what sometimes seems like an impossible dream. The best advice I ever got actually came from Eve Ensler. I don't know if you know her. Eve Ensler is the remarkable goddess who wrote the Vagina Monologues. And she was seeing how I was kind of wishy-washy in a few things. And she said, you know, life is like this plate of food in front of you. And you want it to be so delicious that you lick it clean. It should not be an experience where you're pushing the food around. You're gonna put too much on your plate, so you're gonna feel overwhelmed and too full and not motivated. But really what you want, what feeds you, what gives you pleasure and something to truly enjoy to the point where it's finger licking good. That's how life should be. These, these young folks are so inspiring. Um, and for me, the, the piece of advice that I would give to them, that I would give to everyone, is the same advice that my mother gave me when I called her. I was studying political science and I called her from school and I said, um, I said, Mama, I don't think I want to be a lawyer anymore. I think I want to be an actor. And she, <laughs> and she said, oh, you want to be an actor? I think if you're an attorney, you'll get to act every day. So maybe you should just reconsider that. My mom and dad, they always said to me, you know, follow your dreams. It's the most important thing that you can do. If it's what you believe you're going to do for the rest of your life, and it's what you really want to do, then that's what I, obviously you kids are doing it already. But uh, to, to everyone, follow your dreams. It's the most important thing that you can do. The Yellow Ribbon Project is an organization that supports the kids of our fallen soldiers. Nothing is more important than making sure that these kids feel that they have a community of support as they go through their lives. This year, the Yellow Ribbon Project is planning an event called Playfield in the Park on Memorial Day weekend out here. We encourage you all to come out and celebrate. And thank you, Emma and Derek and Connie for doing so much, so much service to help these families in need. Thank you for being here. A round of applause for the Dockeries.
anytime that you can get um, exposure in a room full of people that have such a huge platform, to be able to expose the awareness of what we're doing for these children I think is absolutely tremendous and we are so excited to be a part of it. It's intrinsically important for social welfare issues to have a presence here because as you know, as everyone knows, there's more work get, that gets done at a Washington party than at a desk. The biggest problem the next president will confront is helping us understand that the nation we have is the nation we deserve, which means we have to work hard to make certain that the ideas, the public policies, uh, the viewpoints and the visions that prevail are the ones that best represent America.